Let the hunt begin. I must protect the wild. Probably one of the worst cards to have gotten in the early game here. Or the, one of the worst draws I could get. The opponent skipped his turn too, replaced all the cards, so I'm gonna capitalize on his weakness. Can play a coin zombie chow here, but I see turn three being chow wolf, and then I can save that coin. Money in the bank. Good enough use of the coin here. All the <laughs> Scarlet Crusader showing how good it is, taking four mana to take care of the problem, though I did take care of it for free. Alright, you got a Leoc. I give you a trade. Sludge Belcher, get out of my way. And I'll trade this in. That Dancing Swords plays into my swipe. Get out of there. Get me the card. The it's a paid job to take a hit on that one. May my That's a weak sauce, turn seven. A two, three, a one, one, a secret. I'll check for the snipe, which will make him sad. Just try to spend all the mana here. This hunter's running out of gas. Well, I keep pulling on the steam. That card is fairly good, though. Still, it's not enough to save him. Clear the board with this thing. Hmm. All right. Not as glamorous as I thought it would be, but I start off with a guy, and my cards uh, should be stronger than his. Did he get that with the? <laughs> with the web spinner. What a piece of work. First order of business is to get everything outside of the explosive trap range, if it is that. And yet, if I try to get things out of explosive trap range, then I get killed by the freezing trap. We must cleanse the sun well. Time waits for no one. My shield! For the wild. I'll plan to trigger whatever trap that is with the Defender of Argus. If it's freezing, that's much better. If it's explosive, that's fine that I waited a turn. Anywhere. 
And I will swat me some spiders. You're dead. Get out of here. Push forward. Let the pain speak to me. This guy. Okay, I'll take care of the Undertaker. 4-3. That becomes a 4-7. If I attack, it means my Cairn would die. But if I don't, it means I won't. I'll take the freebie first. For honor. I have this set up so this does not die in one hit to the Savannah High Main. For Karen, it is much mightier than you. I want to get everything, Matt, of Power of the Wilded, so I'll take the risk on this first. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> okay. Power of the Wild would allow me that. Send this guy in. Okay. To my side. What a headache of a deck this hunter has. But finally the headache of these steady shots and these good cards is subsiding. Stay down, yo. Alright. Not even Crush will save him now. You and your secrets. Bring on your constructed decks. I'll take you on with this with this arena deck. Victory on death. I must protect the wild. Well, that game there was the hardest game that would stop me from going 12 and 0 with this deck. Duh. It was all the early game.
Looks like I speed out the spiteful smith, and then I back her up with the Razorfin Hunter. Hopefully draw a four in the meantime. Would have been nice to have a Shard Sun Cleric in here, or some such. Then I could innervate out the Razorfin, coin out the three drop. The deck doesn't want to cooperate with me, that's fine, I'll make it work for me. Yo, scumbag, wake up! I know you're quivering in fear from your opponent. But that's no reason to drag your death out longer. Curve has fallen in place here. I have a play for the next four turns. Seems light. Did he have a fiery war axe? The oh, cleave! Ha! Huh, that's what you get for not playing the cleave first! To work. Don't get rewarded for your bad play. Not today. Uh, he probably would have done that anyways. Ah, the direwolf alpha. No need to use the power of the wild yet. Hey, give me a minute. <laughs> Save it for the force of nature, power of the wild combo. Crush him. They will, in all likelihood, use the power. Back to work. Looks like it'll have fairly good effect here. Also toss on the mark of nature while I'm at it. When you're working for me, your life expectancy is high. There is the alternative play of Starfall. That's about as good of a target as I can hope. The power of the wild is really good with the force of nature. It can also be played with the Azure Drake later. Ah, a power for both occasions. This guy's gonna get crushed. Is this lethal next turn? 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 18, plus 6, 24. <laughs> Your real leader is so bad that it can barely handle the scraps of my golem. Still worth it. Made sure that died so I get an extra damage on him. Things add up. Behold the might of storm wind. Nature will rise against you.
Alright, keeping two cards, he's gotta have something to play. So I'll keep the Wrath, as I am going second. I could even coin Power of the Wild here. Expecting to kill something on his turn. With the Wrath, and even if I don't, now I have Direwolf Alpha to play along also. We'll go ahead and blitz this full. He kept these two cards, so one of these cards will be played the next turn. Hopefully not walking into Fork Lightning, which is a card he might keep. Lightning Storm. Alright. That'd be fun. Fun story that I am reminded of since I drew the Sea Giant and I'm up against the Shaman. One of the reasons why I'm here today is because Trump took me in, uh, let me use his Hearthstone account as I have been temporarily banned as I was running a Shaman bot. I learned my lesson though. I'm a clean man now. Nox is I've reformed my ways. Do you like to play with fire? We must cleanse the sun well. Remember, kill for life. We must cleanse the sun well. Oh no. My card got hexed. Whatever will I do now? This actually looks like an obvious sea giant turn, but... I have to consider the alternative. This is a fine turn to play the Mad Bomber. A lot of opportunity for him here. And then I can follow up with this and this. I'll do that. Push forward. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Even in the worst case. We still got a game. I'm gonna have a talkin' with you after the game, Bomber. You are not going to like it. I can't bring a shaman deck bot to the arena. You're even more of a criminal than I am. Yo, this should be against the rules. What the heck is this? aggressive play. I have the option to clear his 8-8 and I can kill his 2-1 leaving him with a 1-1 and a 3-3 or I can go for the glory. Next turn I've got 6-8 with the defender of Argus what? so I am one short right now. I can play the defender of Argus hit him for four and then be two short the next turn but there are quite a few draws that would win me the game from there. Was there a difference between being two short and three short? I don't think so. 
So I should also just kill the abusive sergeant. My seal for Argus. For the wild. Ah, oh, there is one card I could draw that would make being too short not as good. That would be the Dark Iron Dwarf. Ah, oh, Taunt Totem. For the Crusade! Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! over though on this board he would have to do this 8 11 12 so it's swipe or starfire if I survive Me down, deck. Okay, that's a redraw. Pass me that art -like banner. Nature will rise against you for the wild. For Doomhammer, I must protect the wild. The game was rigged the last game. But it's alright, I'll show this shaman. A good old fashioned beat him up here. Sunwell. Do I want to take care of the 1-1? One, one? Yes. I'll board control this shaman to the ends of the earth. I would have killed any totem that spawned, so the 1-1 one, one happened to be best for him. Not forked. Ugh. Oh, if he had hit me there, that would have been very bad for him. And it wouldn't have been very obvious. Okay, mark of nature for the four attack here. Rare for this to be the right choice. It's correct here, though. Under my tutelage, even the most innocent of gnomes can pop you. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Ah, excellent. Something to spend the mana efficiently on. Get both of these to be able to kill the berserker in one hit. We must cleanse the sun. Ah. Force of nature to take out two of these. Good enough. Oh, 
there were other ways to deal with the situation. But I decided to call down the artillery there. Call down the blitz. Do you call that a weapon? We must cleanse the sun well. These new mission inventors are getting pumped up. I've got a huge gun. Done. If I hit that once, then that's a really good turn. Done. All right. Bomber, you are... I see you don't really want to cooperate. That's a shame, Bomber. You made the wrong choice. Oh, what's with all these enemies not letting me DM them at the end? I must protect the wild. Alright, zombie chow, haven't seen you in the early game. You better show your face. Ugh. I'm gonna have a talk with you too, Zombie Chow. So close, Bomber. So close. I see the talk we had almost paid off. In this case, it did pay off. I get an unlikely freebie, which I should do right now, since everything else I play is vulnerable to the explosion. Alright, all I need to do is deal two damage to it. Harvest Gloom will deal two. Uh, so will Gnomish Inventor. This is better on curve. I have more cards than I know what to do with. Just spend the max amount of mana. Pass me that arc light spanner. <sighs> Drink with me, friend. <sighs> okay, eat this. Step down, Garish. 
step down, sit down, cause you ain't fit. Ah, try this. Back to work. Oh my, I see you've shown your barbaric side now. There's no need to get rustled, Garish. You're so unrefined, Garish. Silver Moon shall not fall. I can wait longer. That's adorable. You brought your pops out here because you can't handle me yourself. That's hilarious. I mispositioned my unit. I should have put Bane Bloodhoof in the middle. I didn't think it would matter, but here it is mattering. Hmm. Remember, kill for loss. That'll cost me a very surprisingly large amount. I might lose the game because I misplaced my unit so that the wolf would not slide. Sorry that happened. Something as small as that. Ugh. You scumbag. I must protect the wild. Nature will rise against you. It is possible I would have won that last game had I just positioned units, minions differently. It shows the very small effect. It shows the level of how such a small decision can affect the game. Seize those advantages. Do you like to play with fire? Well, it is time for an incredible win streak, though. I'm now on the easy road. Got the tough opponents out of the way. Alright, I'll stack this guy a little. There's nothing you can do to combat this on three mana, not even on four mana. What do you have anything? Turn four hero ability. My my, my opponents have gotten quite a bit softer, it seems. No play. You gotta be kidding me. Someone call for it. Turn five voodoo doctor. Your hand must be full of reckless rocketeers. How very sad. And that is why a mana curve is important. 
I see this druid needs to go back to basics. I will fight with honor. I must protect the wild. There's better that I can get than that. Uh, all right. Well met. My greetings. That's a turn four and a turn five. I've got the turn two, so I just need a turn three. Well, that's now my turn three. All right, Paladin. I hope you're ready for this beatdown. Escalated quickly. Huh. All right, and I will save my four or five. Give me a two drop minion. Uh, no, that's not actually that useful. Oh, yes, it is. Two drop minion. Otherwise, I will probably just play defend. No. Hmm. Oh, that's really good. We must cleanse the sunwell. Just as bland. Face. Face has let me get him some very favorable trades, so let's see if he's got an equalizer here, or if he's just a chump. But he just spends 6 mana to kill my 1 health minion. He definitely did. Oh dear. Into the breach! Ishne Ano Push forward. I was so struck by that move that I forgot to BM him. <laughs> <laughs> 